Help! I've deleted a message. Help me get it back. Hello and welcome to iPhone Black and White Troubleshooting, where we try to figure out what's going wrong with your device and get you fixed up as quickly as possible. If you're watching this video, then you have deleted a message and you are hoping that you can get it back. There's good news and there's bad news, and it kind of depends on a number of factors that go into this. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so the way that you would be able to get your messages back is going to depend on whether or not you have made a backup to the iCloud. Now, that's not that easy to understand. It seems easy, it's not. So, here's the first thing that we're going to take a look at. Now, when you, if you wanna grab your device right now and look uh, yourself as I show you these settings, that's fine, but make sure you do not turn anything on that wasn't already on. Whatever you do, do not turn on messages. Um, so with that being said, let's just look at this really quickly here. So on our test phone, we're going to go straight into our settings. We're going to click on our name up at the top. And then we're going to click on iCloud. And then on this screen, I want you to focus on everything that's in green, okay? That's important, everything that's in green. Now you can see messages is not turned on. Now do not turn this on. I'm turning it on right here just to kind of show it as an example that you can turn it on. And then you could even turn it off and then download the messages that you've uploaded to the cloud. But it's not quite maybe what you might think what that all means and so I know <laughs> this is really confusing but we got to take a look at some articles to make sure that you understand exactly what these backups are and why they're so different because you're actually most people don't even realize this you're not making one backup you're actually creating at the exact same time two separate backups so your messages are going to either be in one or the other and that is going to dictate whether or not you can get your messages back. Okay, so we've got a number of articles that we're going to take a look at. We're not going to go through each one, just the things that I've highlighted here, but I've got to make sure that you understand how this is working and so you know what you're going to be able to do. So everything that we saw previously on that test screen uh, that was in green. I'm going to call that a green backup just for simplicity's sake, okay? So that's just what I want you to think about when I talk about everything that was in green there, that's part of a green backup. Now, everything that's part of a green backup is actually separate from what we can call the official backup. I like to call it the D&D &D backup because it stands for documents and data. So that's usually how I differentiate between the two. I do my green backup and then I do my D&D &D backup, okay? So what we wanna look at here, and all these articles are straight from Apple, from support.apple.com. These are the backup methods for your iPhone, et cetera, et cetera. So what we're looking at here is when it's talking about iCloud backups, it says iCloud backups include nearly all data and settings stored on your device. iCloud backups don't include. And when it says don't include, that's when people freak out, but don't freak out. What it's saying is data that's already stored in iCloud, like contacts, calendars, notes, et cetera, et cetera. iMessages, text messages. What this is saying is, hey, the official backup, the D&D &D backup, just so you know, that backup does not include all of these things that we see highlighted right here. But why doesn't it include it? Simple, because that, all that information 
is actually being backed up already. That's part of the green backup. So the green backup is what is going straight into the iCloud. So you might be saying, okay, well, why would Apple design it this way? Like, what's the benefit from it? And the benefit is actually huge because think of it this way. Let's say you get a glitch on your phone and you get a glitch from one of the apps you've downloaded or maybe the operating system's bad. The good news is if you get a glitch, um, it's gonna cause all these problems with the phone, but if you back up your phone to the iCloud, you've actually created a glitch that is now a part of your backup. So what that means is you would not be able to restore your device using your official backup simply because the glitch would actually be there. But the good news is for those people that that happens to is if they actually erase their phone and then set it up like a brand new phone, as soon as they sign into their Apple ID, all the information that's part of the green backup will automatically come right back down on the phone. So all their contacts, all their photos, even messages. Like everything that's part of a green backup, hey, no problem, that's separate. That's not gonna be included with the glitch. We'll bring all that information right back onto your phone. So there's a huge advantage in why Apple does it this way. And that's just what you gotta understand why there's a significance between the two backups. But okay, so you're saying, okay, well, wait a minute. My, you know, if my messages wasn't turned on, then were my messages being backed up? And the answer is yes, it actually was because your messages would actually be a part of your official backup, the D&D backup. So real quick, take a look at using messages in iCloud scroll down here and what we look at is where it says if you turn off messages in iCloud on an iPhone etc etc your message history will be included in a separate iCloud backup so what it's saying is hey if you turn if messages is not in green then no problem your messages are actually part of your official backup so I just wanted you to see that with your own eyes so let's take a look at the next one all right, so what does the official iCloud backup? Well, here's what your iCloud backup includes. So app data, blah, 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 all these things. But right here, iMessage, text, and MMS messages. So your message that you've deleted, as long as it's not in green, that is going to be a part of whatever your last backup is that you made to your phone. And we'll talk about when your last backup probably was. but. That's, again, so you can see with your own eyes, your messages should be backed up um, with your official backup. Okay, so if you're somebody who is saying, wait a minute, I went in and I checked my screen and it says that my messages actually are in green. They are being backed up to the iCloud. It's part of that green backup, the separate one. Can I get my messages back? And this is the bad news. For anyone who's in that situation, the answer is no. Those messages cannot come back. The reason, as it's saying right here in the Messages app, you can delete messages in entire conversations. You can't recover a deleted conversation. So if you're someone who's got this in green, and messages, I'm very, very sorry, but that message is gone and it cannot be recovered. It is no longer a part of your official backup. So that message is gone. And so now you're debating about, well, should I keep my messages in green or should I turn my messages off? And so in case this ever happens again. So let's discuss that real quick. All right, so what is the advantage in turning messages on in green? The huge advantage is that when you do that, it actually saves a ton of space in your iPhone storage. Remember, your iCloud storage can get bigger. If you fill it up, you can actually buy more. You can do 50 gigabytes, 200 gigabytes, or even two terabytes. So your messages can actually go up to the iCloud and that's where it'll eat up all that space and it saves that space so it's not eating up 
um, all you know your limited space on your phone that's why Apple gives you the ability to do that the disadvantage though is if you ever do delete something it's automatic it's gone and it can't come back so there's an advantage to obviously turning it on to save space on your device but then obviously the big disadvantage that you might be facing is the message is gone okay so with that being said let's go ahead and move into okay if you're somebody who can recover your messages how exactly should you do it okay so I'm gonna show you now a video of where to go to see when your last backup was hopefully it was just like last night and you just caught this today but here's the main thing when I show you this video do not go straight into your phone to this screen um, make sure that you're hearing me on this do whatever you do if you want to go to this screen that's fine just make sure you do not click backup now do not make another backup because if you make another backup you could end up screwing yourself over so don't do it so let's just take a look because um, all we need to do is you would go onto your phone you would go into your settings and this phone is actually running 14.0 so it, it's one little difference here. So you go into settings, you would click on your name at the top, and then you're gonna click on iCloud. And now the iCloud backup is actually at the top of the screen. It used to be down near the bottom, which is why I'm scrolling down. For you, it would be near the top, but you would wanna look at iCloud backup. And when you click on it, it will actually tell you like when was your last backup? You can see it up there. At the, it would be there at the bottom. Say last successful backup, blah, blah, blah. Just whatever you do, do not click backup now. Do not do that. Okay, I'm doing it there, but you don't do that. So once you take a look at that and it tells you, okay, this is when your last backup was. Hopefully, when you're looking at what your last backup, you know, hopefully you're somebody who is like, turning on to leaving your phone on at night um, or you you know you've made a backup depending on how long ago it was so all you really need to think about at the moment is like whatever it's telling you hey like your last backup was you know yesterday or the week before etc cetera, etc cetera. as long as that email or not email but as long as that message um, that you're trying to get back you know as long as it was there during your last backup the good news is yes you can get your message back but what you are going to have to do is now erase your phone but don't panic let's discuss that as well okay so I'm not going to go through this video and show you how to erase a phone um, I've got another video on how to erase a phone and then I also have a video on how to set up a device Okay, so the erase video, you would just wanna watch um, that video just to see the beginning. Now, here's what you've gotta do and be really, really careful. So I'm gonna give you a word of warning um, before you attempt to erase your phone. Anytime you go in to actually erase the phone, it is going to ask you, do you want to make another backup? You've got to be careful because you've got to click no, do not make another backup. That is the whole reason you're doing this. So you just got to be forewarned. Don't, don't, don't make another backup. Okay. Now, once your phone erases, guys, don't panic. Please don't panic. It's actually really, really easy to set up your phone again. The couple things that you just need to know going into it is make sure if you're not sure what your Wi-Fi password is, make sure you know what your Wi-Fi password is. Make sure you know what your Apple ID is and what your Apple ID password is. Those are the most important things. There's one other hitch you're going to run into when you set up the phone, but I'm not going to explain that here if you watch my video on how to set up a device, um, I cover that in depth. And it's nothing to panic about, you'll get right through it. So, alrighty, uh, with that being said, I, I hope that this was beneficial and for you know the majority of people who see this, I really hope that you are able to get your, your messages back and I hope that I was able to help explain this and that you'll be able to do it.
Alrighty guys, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really do appreciate it. If you found it helpful, hit like, hit subscribe, come on back, learn how to become an iPhone expert. Don't forget, send this video to your friends and family so I can turn them into experts as well. Alrighty guys, thanks so much. I'll see you next time. See ya.